Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, Wendy has broken her silence after being diagnosed with frontal temporal dementia and aphasia. Now, she said, I wanted to say I have immense gratitude for the love and kind words I have received after sharing my diagnosis of aphasia and FTD. Let me say, wow, your response has been overwhelming. Now, she told People Magazine this on Friday. Now, the message shared with me have touched me, reminded me of the power of unity and the need for compassion. I hope that others with FTD may benefit from my story. I want to also thank the association from STD for their kind words of support and extraordinary efforts to raise awareness for FTD. I continue to need personal space and peace to thrive. Please just know that your positivity, encouragement, and deeply are appreciated. And she signed off. Now, the posts have contacted uh, Wendy's rep for comment, but didn't get a reply. Now, I myself don't believe Wendy said all that. I mean, this is her care team, quote, care team, not her family. Her, quote, care team is saying all of this. Now, this comes ahead of the release of her two-part Lifetime documentary, which airs tonight, entitled, Where is Wendy Williams? Mm -hmm. Now, since May of 2022, Williams have lived under a court-appointed legal guardian who oversees both her finances and her health. Now, her family has claimed that her legal guardian is the only person with unlimited access to Wendy and have questions if their decisions have been in Wendy's best interest. And, you know, because of this uh, two-part documentary, her acting temporary guardian, whose name is Sabrina Morrissey, filed a lawsuit against Lifetime Parent Company, A&E TV, this week, seemingly in an effort to delay the release of the tell-all. Don't want people to know, don't want this out. But reps for A&E said on Friday that Lifetime appeared in court and that the documentary will air on tonight, as planned. Now, you know, on Thursday, Wendy Williams' care team revealed... Now, all of this is before the documentary. Before this, we hadn't heard where Wendy was. We were thinking she was with her family. But now, since this documentary is coming up, oh... Her care team and everybody want to tell everything now. So on Thursday, her care team released a statement, which I believe this is still the same people who just released this statement saying that Wendy said it. Wendy ain't said that. But uh, they revealed her diagnosis, which is the same two medical conditions of Die Hard star Bruce Willis is battling. Now, uh, they say that she's in a facility, which the family said they have not, they don't know what facility she's in. They haven't laid eyes on her. Her niece said that, you know, she talked to her for four hours. She sounds good, but hey, they can't call them. And when Wendy calls them, it's on a block line, so they don't know where it's coming from. It's crazy, guys. But buckle up, buckle up, because tonight we going to see it, and we going to hear it, and hmm, I tell you, this is something else. Uh-huh. Now, the, they, her care team also says that she's, Wendy is still able to do many things for herself. That she maintains her trademark sense of humor and that uh, she may get back to work. Mm. No, 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 no. But uh, I think 
this whole thing is going to shine a light so bright on this Wendy Williams situation that her families, Thank you so very her family much may be able hope you will to get a like, back. Because this is crazy why her family channel. don't have her in the first place. Important. And they've be taken serious. control. They've actually, to me, this is me, seems like they kidnapped her. Taking over control, full control of her finances, over what she eats, what she does, where she, who she talks to. Ah. Then, guys, hey, you know the, the conspiracy is out. Hey, they don't want you to see her. They don't want you to talk to her. They don't want to. She's a clone. It ain't Wendy. Huh. What y'all think?